We can only project a couple of years in the future, but I, I think we're well on this path for several years. So I don't, I don't think this is a one or two year phenomenon. I think we definitely are in a period of four, <clears throat> four or five percent sustain, four or five years of sustained three percent growth at least. Wow, yeah, that is a hell of a prediction. Of course, that was Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin on Fox News Sunday. And that was on the heels of that amazing uh, GDP report from Friday. Joining us now to discuss Eric Schiffer, Patriarch Organization Chairman and CEO, Nan Hayworth, uh, Independent Women's Forum Board of Directors, also Donald J. Trump for President Inc. Advisory Board Member. And back with us is James Freeman. Nan, I'm going to start with you. Uh, now, I, I'm, I told people right now we have what I'm calling... The, the Trump slam. Uh, Tiger Woods never won all four majors in a, in a calendar year, but at once he did hold them all four at once, right? So right now, the last four quarters at 3.1 percent. We've done it. Yes. We've proven it can be done over four over four quarters. That's right. But can it be done over four years? Uh, well, Charles, if if uh, the GOP can successfully remind voters that this could come to uh, something of a screeching halt if we go back to the bad old policies of the previous administration. The president's been deregulating, Charles, as you know, from day one. And that has made a tremendous difference to business certainty in the right way. Businesses like certainty. If they know they're getting more regulation, they'll put up with it. But if they know they're getting less, they're good. that's why capital expenditures are up. I mean, sure. hiring is up. Wages are rising. This is fantastic, but it could go downhill if we don't keep these policies going. Businesses certainly have come out of their foxholes and and consequently so have consumers. Eric, uh, what do you think? How, how, How sustainable is what we saw on Friday? I think it's very sustainable, Charles, and I think it's sustainable for many reasons. I think regulation is a big piece, but this is a new paradigm. We're really in a different uh, level of equilibrium uh, for many reasons. And despite the fact that you don't have this colossal amount of liquidity anymore, I mean, that's gone, and yet we're growing. And, I, and so when you look at the anti-regulation, when you look at the tax cuts, and you look at the fact that there will be a consistency in that, um, and the effects that will, uh, I think, become the outcome of all of that. We've just begun, in my opinion. I think not only do you see the next two years being at 3%, but, yeah, you could see 4%. Or, excuse me, you could see for over four years the 3%. It's absolutely possible, Uh, not unrealistic, unless there's some socialism that gets into Mm -hmm. this system, and that's where we need to fight. You know, James, uh, we we are uh, pretty long in the the economic expansion. I mean, we we were certainly extraordinarily oversold. Uh, 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 but uh, uh, is it just is it long in a tooth? Because a lot of economists are simply saying, "Hey, you know what? It's gone on so long. It, it's it's kind of old to kind of get this jolt of uh, energy everyone's talking about." That is what's so remarkable is that we've accelerated late in an expansion, a very slow, disappointing expansion, <laughs> but an expansion. Now all of a sudden, we we're hitting this higher plane to three percent growth this year, and I think the capital expenditure. Uh, issue you mentioned is really the big one because it's not just an expression by businesses that they think this is a long-term growth story. They, they have the confidence to build a factory that's going to need to pay off over many years. But uh, when they make those investments, we then can produce a lot more stuff for years to come. So well, it's not uh, a one-hit wonder. What about things, though, that, that some economists talk about that go beyond politics? The aging workforce, mm-hmm. yeah. um, uh, you know, some, some other issues that that may be out of the hands of politicians yeah i think i mean first of all this is a a symbol or an expression of how good this economy is that people in the white house are having meetings on how do we convince more people to join the workforce how do we uh, how do we find get workers to come take all these jobs that are available and i what they are i think convinced of and i think there's a good case that there are millions of people in their prime working years who have not joined who can come back in. Or maybe they were looking for work two years ago right. and they haven't in the last six months. But but there are millions of people in that prime age who are not disabled and can work. And, and I think and, you're going to see the more of them coming the journal back in. effect, right, was that now and, and jobs are taking a chance on them. Many of them yeah. don't have a choice, but they are taking a chance on them. They're taking a chance on nonviolent felons. They're right. taking a chance even on uh, 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 recreational drug use. Yes. And isn't it wonderful, Charles, a growing economy, a robust economy provides more opportunity for everyone. And this is a president who really has emphasized that in a very realistic way because he comes from a background as a builder. 
here. He, he reveres the trades. He wants more Americans to be involved and to respect every level of training and every level of involvement. And the other thing is, even as our workforce ages, you know, we're going to have to think about automation uh, coming into play as well. So, you know, that, that there'll be some balance there because, you know, we won't necessarily need quite as many workers in some sectors. Eric, less than a minute left. Uh, the potential impact on a long-term tariff battle, the worst case scenario. Well, I, you know, I think you could, obviously, if they can't get it deals, uh, you could see slowdown uh, from an external effect. I don't think that the economy itself is going to be significantly impacted, uh, you know, in, in, if we don't get a few. But I think you're going to see deals. It's going to be uh, shaky for a bit. We need to hold tough. But we need to do it. Uh, America can't continue without having some kind of fair level of trade. But I don't see any major impact. And I do see deals. And then, Charles, watch out. Uh -oh. Then you will see, for sure, four years. All right. Three percent and much higher. I'm, I'm buckling up. I can't wait. I think the American public can't either. Thank you all very much.